So what we have here, you pan down, this is a ferrofluid, and we've made this out of some printer ink and some oil. And you can see when I raise this, if you get a good shot here, when I put the magnet on it, all of a sudden you get this movement in the liquid. You can kind of see that. Now, I'm wearing gloves because it's ink, and I have some magnets in my finger here. So I'm going to put these over this field, and I can already feel it drawing my finger toward it. You can see it sort of move. And you see the ink sort of pull up onto the plastic here? Yeah, you're going to tear your glove. Dan, can you help me here? <laughs> I'm have you just hold that, and I'm going to pull the magnet away from the bottom there. There we go. So you can see my finger is quite, quite a bit larger than it was before, and that's because if you actually push it away, that ink is forming a bubble around my finger. Now, the ferrofluid works by iron particles in the printer ink being suspended in this viscous oil fluid. And so the fluid isn't actually magnetic. It's the iron particles within it. But it definitely gives you some pretty cool visuals. I'm trying to hold this and keep it from... And see, I'm not actually touching that fluid. It's jumping up. All right, so we've done some other things here. We have some ferrofluid inside of a uh, glass bottle that we've put Windex in, and we've placed a magnet in here. You can see that magnet and how it's the uh, printer ink has um, congealed, congealed and, 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 and come toward it. Um, so we'll take another strong magnet, and you can see how we can move that around. And it should fall back. Come here. There you go. And so what happens is it tends to stick to the sides of the glass when it's there for a long time. So that's one of the things we've done. And another thing here is we have some more of this fluid inside water, and it moves really nicely. It's got some good bubbles here. And you can take that same magnet and draw these ink bulbs to yourself. And what's really nice, it's a little oily, so I hope I don't drop it here. If you get it, get a good, good swirl here, you can sort of see that from the side. I can draw these bubbles toward me. Isn't that cool? It's cool. Yeah. I grabbed that last one that we did. All right. And so this one, we've done it in a three-layer solution. So we have our ferrofluid, and we have our, uh, our Windex, and then we have mineral oil. And so the mineral oil is lighter than the Windex, and so it stays above it. This ferrofluid is actually a little heavier, but we can draw it up. If you can see that from this side, we draw that up and then draw it into the oil and draw it even further. Do how it sucks it up like a tornado. And you can see it's kind of stuck up there. But if we move it around. And the reason it, it likes to stick to the glass is because it's ink, uh, it's ink and it's, 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 it's very uh, um, it's very polar so it likes the actually I don't know if that's correct. That may not be uh, why it's sticking to the glass. It may just be uh, friction. Because um, we have a surfactant in there to keep the ink from sticking. You can see me pull that up on the side there too. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. So if you look at my finger again, zoom in there, you can see how it's the oil is slowly separating from the ink, and those iron particles are hanging in that magnetic field. So there you go. This is a 
your introduction to ferrofluid. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot of fun things you can do with it, and uh, I suggest you go out and make your some.